first I will take the soil corer and put in the two, in this case, two plexiglass rings here. Uh, the rings are cylinders, they will... The second one may not be used actually, but it, uh, with the kind of uh, soil corer or auger that we use, it will, uh, it will support the first one so it will move up into the core while taking the sample. In many cases, before taking the sample, it will be necessary to um, to cut along the rim of the soil core around the cutting case to ensure actually that you don't compress soil too much. Compression of the soil is one of the key problems that could occur while taking the sample. So that's why I'll do like this. And then I will press down the... I'll squeeze it and turn it a little bit around until I get a sample of a little bit more than 5 centimeters in depth, which I've reached now, and I'll take it up and look how what happened to it. So you can see that the sample went fine into the core. Now I'll make the top of the sample flush with the rim of the, the cylinder and I'll cut it. I'll cut the, the remaining soil which we won't use just put it back in the soil here and put on the red lid on the top and on the bottom. And this is protecting the soil very well, it won't be compressed anymore. This is the kind of procedure we would follow when we have um, soil just below uh, the plant and humus and litter layer. We will do it like this. In soils where we have a, a thick layer of organic matter and plants, and in this case it's needles and moss, you do the same as when you have soil, true mineral soil. You also cut along the rim and you will press it down. Pick it up, and then you will take a look on how it looks. In this case, you can see that we have actually some mineral soil in the bottom. Uh, it's very sandy in this case, often happens, in, and and the sand might, uh, you know, drop out of the of the of the of the cylinder, but it doesn't matter. Not so important because it's in this case it's because it's very dry and uh, there won't be a lot of animals anyway. Um, it's also alternatively you could actually take a sample without the soil core and you can do similar. You can take the cylinder I use as a, as a template how to cut the sample. And you have to make sure you actually cut down to this depth of about five centimeter. And then you want, you can take the sample with a, a hand shovel and dig it up like this. And then it's ready to manually enter into the soil core. Still, it's important to avoid compression and so you handle it very gently all the time and I can now put the top lid it's ready to put, now it's ready for put on, to put on the top lid 
and we have some extra soil here which I will cut off like this and then put on the the bottom lid. And this is also a, an alternative way to, to do the sample. Sometimes there might be a lot of roots or uh, and, uh, and you'll have to um, to cut through them with a knife and then you can choose to not use the soil core.